Hi guys, welcome back. Maya with Simply Bloom. Today I'm super excited because I am attempting to make homemade chamomile tea. Now it is slightly drizzling, so hopefully I can finish this before it really opens up and starts downpouring. I am sitting in front of my chamomile plant. Now I've never grown chamomile before. And fun fact, I don't like tea or coffee. Coffee kind of messes with me. Um, <laughs> but in the winter time, I still, or even on like a cool fall day, or even today, it's kind of a chilly summer day, it's starting to drizzle more. I want something warm to drink besides just hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's so rich. I just want something a little bit, you know, a little bit calmer than hot chocolate. So I was like, you know what? I want to try tea again. Let me uh, maybe grow some of my own. And then uh, sometimes just me growing something, it suddenly just flips the switch and suddenly I like it just because I put in the effort, I grew it, all that stuff. So I have my chamomile plants. I started this from seed. I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. As far as I know, there's two types of chamomile. Well, three, there's the wild kind that grows outside. I have it popping up all over my driveway. I did not know that that was chamomile. I just called it pineapple weed because it smells like pineapple. So I was very shocked when this came up after I planted it and I was like, you know, it kind of looks like pineapple weed. And I did a little research and lo and behold, that pineapple weed in my driveway is also wild chamomile. So there's that in the driveway. And then there's also German chamomile and Roman chamomile. I'm not sure what variety this is. I don't think it's sat on the seed packet. I'll double check. Um, I do know that they say if you're wanting it for teas and stuff, <laughs> this weather is so weird. I don't know if you can see the rain, but now I'm getting all my little like speckles on my glasses. Um, but if you're wanting it for tea, German chamomile, I heard is a little bit sweeter, which is great for me because like I said I'm not a huge fan of tea so the sweeter the better. I'm gonna kind of show you I've done some research I've never made this tea before from scratch so I'm super excited for you to join me in this adventure so let me flip the camera around we'll we'll gather up some of these flower heads I'll show you which ones to pick the proper stage and then you want to let it dry so I will be throwing this in my dehydrator at probably the lowest temp that it will go and it says it takes about three to four hours for these to fully dry out. I live in a very humid, humid climate. I think the humidity has been averaging around 85 or 90 percent humidity. So I am will not be surprised if it takes longer than the expected time. So just depending on where you live and how humid it is, just kind of keep checking on it and use your ju best judgment of when it's dry or if you need to go a little bit longer. So let's uh, let's get closer. Okay, so here's my chamomile, and you can kind of see varying degrees of matureness of the flowers. This one here on the left, that's a new little flower bud just starting to open, and the one on the right is too far. So what you're looking for, let me see, this. This is a good one. So you can see the flower is fully open. It still has all of its petals. Perfect right there. You want to choose the ones that are have all of its petals or most of them that are fully opened. You don't want to pick ones like this that haven't even begun to open yet and you don't want ones that are past its prime either. So I'm just going to kind of comb through here and find the ones that look like this beauty. And then when it comes to the time you just you can use snips for this. I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm just gonna pop the head off. And then I just put it in my dehydrator insert. You can see it down there um, for my dehydrator. It's also the Ninja Foodi nine in one in case you're curious. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in this basket and keep picking.
Okay. Oh, I have some picked. I picked some, not all of them. And I am just going to dehydrate these on my lowest setting of my dehydrator and watch it for about three to four hours and it smells so good. If it tastes anything like it smells, I will be so happy. So it's, it tastes like if someone mixed apple and pineapples together and it just has that lovely fresh scent. It smells so good. So I'm gonna go do that and I will check back with you after these are dry. Okay, you guys, it is early the next morning, about six in the morning. Here are my chamomile, dried chamomile. I kept it in my dehydrator about four hours and then I just kind of let it sit overnight just to make sure it was really fully dry. But after the four hour mark, it looked pretty dry to me. Now I realized how I am not a tea expert because I have like no tea making equipment. I had to just boil my water in a in a pot on the stove um, and then what I did is I measured out one cup of water and I had exactly a one tablespoon of dried chamomile worked out perfect so I'm just gonna throw this in to my uh, hot almost boiling water it was boiling a minute ago so it should be fine and then I'm just going to let it steep and all the videos that oh <gasps> That already smells incredible. Hold on, let me get a spoon. Okay, it's been a few minutes and I can see the water's kind of turned to this pale yellow color. I'm gonna call it good because I don't want it too, too strong. You guys, this is how not tea smart I am. I don't even have, like, I have to use this to... <laughs> I need one of those fancy handy dandy tea infusers um, but we're just going this to strain out everything there's still still some little leaves that got through because that strainer wasn't was thin enough or like holes weren't small enough um, but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try it just like this and then if I need help because remember I don't like tea I don't like it um, so if I need help I have some sugar <laughs> that I can add I need some sugar <laughs> I just, I don't know, I like things to be sweet. Remember, the only things that I drink hot are hot chocolate, so. I like things to be sweet. That was probably too much sugar. <laughs> Please don't judge. <laughs> Okay, that's much better. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, that's good. I just needed a little help from me and maybe I'll get to the point where I'll like it without the sugar. <laughs> Cause the whole point of wanting tea is I want something a little bit healthier but still warm and comfy and cozy to have. I like that. Plus, do you like my cup? Find me in the garden. Yes. Anyways, you guys, I would say that that is a success. I really like that. I really like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know if you make your homemade chamomile tea. And if you're someone that's not a huge fan of tea like me, I bet you'll like this. It's really light, really refreshing, kind of sweet since I added the sugar. If you don't add the sugar, it's not sweet. Um, but I really like that. It tastes really good. So thank you so much for joining me. Please follow along. I have lots of new exciting videos coming soon and I hope you all have a good day. Bye.